I cannot believe I'm saying this. I actually cannot believe I'm saying this, but I'm happy to be saying this. I'm happy to be saying this, and I am actually like, wow. I actually am just like, what is going on? Guys, DBG here and all that. But like, I've got to say, and I'm not going to hype this up like it's the greatest thing ever. I'm not going to hype it up like it's the greatest thing ever because at the end of the day, we cannot forget this is this is literally what we had last year. And it put it slightly different. And I'm not going to go out there and say that like it's a game-changing thing because of what they did last year. But I do want to say this sometimes. Sometimes the most game-changing thing you can do is stick with what works and try to not reinvent the wheel. And 2K have done it. So lads, first of all, we got a Carmelo Anthony, which I'll talk about um, in a video. It actually was released before this. I recorded it before this, but I'm going to talk about this after this. Um, but lads, this is huge. So we got Rush content here. It's obviously way too zoomed out. So if you guys can see right here, it's the Rush packs. Not very good kinds. I'm just going to put it out there. They're not going to be very good cards. But it doesn't matter. There's one huge thing. So you can see here. Rush cards out tomorrow. Look to add Dark Matter Rush cards to your collection via equal chance reward packs. This is actually one of the craziest things. Is They actually said via equal chance reward packs. Before they mentioned that they're available in packs. So clearly promo super packs are coming out. It seems like promos are the biggest pack sellers. And what this is going to be is like what they used to do in 2K21. Where they had um, they had these cards here in... Um, they basically, in Season 7 of 2K21, they released Super Packs twice a week. And they put a bunch of cards into the Super Packs. I think that's what they're doing. And because Super Packs obviously sell, these cards are going to be in them. Which is going to be really, really interesting. But you can see here, equal chance reward packs available across the modes and through an agenda. So what that's going to be is, there's going to be equal chance packs on boards, in vaults, on wheels, which are probably going to be really hard to get. These are RNG, but also you're going to be able to get one through an agenda. Probably one every single week. And that is huge, lads. That's actually huge. For anyone wondering, are these packs going to be equal chance unauctionable or auctionable? 99.9% .9 chance unauctionable. I'm just going to say that. There is a 99% chance they're unauctionable. But they're a guaranteed dark matter. So you wait like it's give and take. It's give and take. I'll always say it. When the unauctionable concept is used as a way to give us more and better rewards, with the caveat being they're on they're them being unauctionable, I actually think that's good. That can be that can be a positive thing for the player base. But what 2K have done this year and made unauctionable packs and gave us less rewards is a joke. This can be done extremely well, especially if the agenda is doable in like... Was like this is a once a week thing. Um, if the agenda is doable in an hour. An hour to two hours. Because you you had a one in five chance of probably a scrub. But it doesn't really matter. It's a dark matter. People are going to be excited by it. People are going to do the do the grind. People are going to play the RNG for the cards. Um, I think adding things like maybe on Mondays and Thursdays, as I said, um, as I'll say in my video later, putting in all-time Evos Mondays and Thursdays. And then um, putting them into boards and vaults. And then having these in the boards and vaults. It makes people interested to play the game again. Which is something that's going to be really interesting. To see the totality of the mode. And something I'm really, really interested in. It is something that I'm really, really interested in. And I think it could be a great step forward for the mode. Do I think any of these cards can be great? No. I think they're going to probably keep same animations on most of them. Um, a bit like they did last season with... Other than like Hero Scalabrini. I think every other card just had their normal release. Um, and to be fair, all these guys are perfectly fine releases. Amari's is a bit iffy, but it's fine. Oh, wow. They have the 6 07 basketball. The ball that got rid of like halfway through a season with Karan Butler. But, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. 25% plays or better. They're equal chance. <laughs> They're equal chance. And, like, I wouldn't be all, I wouldn't be surprised, by the way. You see these tomorrow's promo super pack. It wouldn't surprise me if there's like a 
15 to 20k VC equal chance pack for these and you can upload, you can get three of them. Or you can get five of them. Like that wouldn't actually be a shock. I think they'll probably do something like that to get people opening more, people more likely to open um, smaller ones. I think for the promo super packs, because they're going to have like a Steph Curry or a LeBron on the front picture and people are going to be, the casuals will open those packs anyway for a Steph or a LeBron. Whereas the hardcore players, I think they might try to get them playing the mode by getting them to open these packs. And I think I will. I actually think I would. Like that, there are very few things that will get me loading up VC. And I think that's one of them. That's one of them. And I'm still awaiting my business cards. So like I'll be coming out of my own money and not my company money. So like, I think I would. I actually think I would spend 20 quid. You can see finally of Duke ADB, equal chance finally. Like there's not going to be more than 10% of the dark matter for these cup packs like look there's no point opening promo super packs <laughs> look if you want these guys um and also by the way they're unauctionable because i said auctionable inserts they wouldn't have specified that if they weren't unauctionable uh the other ones five dms make chat packs cheaper promo packs or super packs are not gonna be cheaper but at the end of the day um i think after this i might still make 2k24 videos tpg can finally smile fair enough i will always say it though um Basically, my plan is at the end of 2024 to go back teaching. Um, and I'm going to take it on a six-month by six-month basis. If by this time next year I'm still doing well, I'll push it back a year. And I can always, like, I have enough in a kind of a nest egg in my company account that I can keep pushing it back a year until it's over. But my plan is now to go back in 2024. And there's no guarantee of it. But yeah, um, this is an objectively good thing. This is an objectively good thing, as well as Carmelo Anthony. Like, are these cards going to be great? I don't think so. NYK Chaza. Like, this, this dude's a FIFA streamer. This guy's a huge FIFA streamer, by the way. And he's saying 2K might actually be back. Like, I think they, I think there will be equal chance packs, by the way within the auction house or not in the auction house in the pack market but lads this is an objectively really good thing and like i genuinely am like you know what this is a pos this is a huge positive like i'll be the most critical of 2k when i feel like they need it needs i need to be the most critical of 2k i'm gonna be one of the most consistent vocal critics of this game but i'm also gonna be one of the most consistent I also feel like I'm one of the most reasonable and I will be one of the people to hype up when I like something. And I think that this is an objectively good thing for 2K. Um, and do I think this is as good as last season's equal chance packs? Um, Last season was different because we got Swish where we got God tier cards. There were equal chance packs in them. And we also got a locker code which was a gave us a great chance at a pink diamond or galaxy opal. I say not galaxy opal, like galaxy opal or dark matter. Um... So I don't know if this is better than last year. Last year we had like the grindable stuff on Wednesdays as well. Um, I don't, I just don't know. I don't know if it's better than last year, but at the end of the day, it's better than anything we've seen this year, which is a huge positive. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.